comes. Well, as you can see, this uh, seal is going to have to find a different material for this seal. Oh, I have some biochar. That's good. I need to get that cleaned up. See that? I got biochar. So I'm going to clean this up and get back. If I track this into my house, my wife's going to have my head, so I need to clean this up and make sure that it doesn't end up in the house. Okay, I'm done with my little cleanup job here. So this is the, uh, the sun is kind of shining down through the tree right here why it's kind of bright in that one spot. It's not ash or anything like that. Uh, as you can see, the uh, there's some tar buildup along the top edge of the, the barrel seal. And what's interesting is, is right here in the sun, I'm gonna, there you go, to get the sun off of it. You can see where the uh, there's some leakage of uh, uh, wood gas and tar that came out from between the hopper and the fire cone. So I'm thinking that that may be the problem that I'm having is that uh, uh, there's some leakage there that needs to be this needs to be welded on. Or sealed on somehow. I, you know, if I don't make a permanent welded connection, then I have to seal it some way, and whatever that seal it, seal is has to be high temperature. Uh, so I'm going to go forward with this. I, you know, one of the things that uh, I was concerned about too is is the, the diameter of my uh, fire cone. This is a uh, stainless steel fire cone and uh, I can show you the diameter of it right here so I'm right at three inches so with the size generator I'm running I may have to change this out to a, uh, a two inch or two and a half inch but uh, I'm not sure about that. So the other thing that I wanted to do is show you the the this wheel assembly and how I modified it and how I ended up with a a little bit different configuration that than Flash did originally. I didn't have any way of uh, of uh, rolling a cone in the same way that he did, so I came up with another idea and maybe that wasn't such a great idea I don't know but you can see there the ignition port how I uh, cut out the mouse hole and welded this up the Sun is just in the wrong spot right at the moment shining through the trees but anyway so there's the weld uh, but I did build this exactly the way the width of wheel that he used 
in the same way that Flash did. Uh, but I am going to show you the the internals of this, and uh, you can give me an opinion of what what's wrong with this design. Anyway, uh, I'll uh, disassemble that in a moment. As you can see here on the the lid for the wood hopper, I have a good seal on here. It's uh, made of uh, 2200 degree uh, soft foam sealed, and then I used a a, a bit of the the high temperature uh, RTV to seal that. I feel pretty good about that seal. One of the things I need to do is put a uh, a pressure hasp on it of some kind, of something that pulls it down tight. But uh, you can see the tar that's on here. It is it is actually coated like a ceramic material. You can see it's all shiny. But that's the tar, and it's it's burned on. I mean, it's it's not sticky at all. So uh, I'm going to put this on the camera, uh, or on the stand, the camera on the stand, and I'm going to disassemble this uh, fire cone assembly like I build it, so you can see what is internal there. Let's get this uh, camera on the stand, and I'll take it apart. Unfortunate that these these haven't seized up, and so I can take these off. This is my uh, fire grate. I built it in such a manner that uh, the uh, if the grate burns out, it's easily replaceable. All you do is It slides out. Uh, it just goes in those little hooks there and it slides right back in there. So there's my grate. Have my glove caught in it now. Anyway, there's my grate. This was uh, this was cut out on a uh, XY plasma table cutter. Uh, we we have one of those at my work, and so that's I had the, the resource, so I used it. Okay, so now I'm going to pull this fire cone off for you. You can see how different this design is from the original. The reason I did it this way is because I wanted to be able to modify this in the future if I didn't have a successful burn or had problems with the uh, producing gas because I'm kind of a novice at uh, it's, uh, pyrolysis and uh, I've done a lot of research, read a lot of things and so much of this stuff conflicts with one another. I wasn't sure what to believe from who. So I built this in such a way that I could take it apart and modify it if I need to. So anyway, there's three flanges on here that hold this on. So that just comes off. And one of the things that you can see here is that there is a, a bell-shaped cone here that feeds down to the, to the burn area here. And uh, uh, as you can see, 
I get I've got white ash all over this this cone here and you'll say well what is that cone how can how did you get that shape well let me show you it's a bell it's a ca it's not cast iron but cast steel bell uh, I used a it had a hole uh, it was flat on this side so I used a plasma cutter and cut the end of it out to the three inches and then just ground uh, it smooth on the inside and so that is my burn chamber I'll never never in a hundred years burn out this uh, three-eighths of an inch thick cast iron bell. Well, it's really not cast iron, it's cast steel. Uh, to give you an idea, so that's, that's, that was my idea to, to, to put a burn chamber on this thing. The, the caveat here is, is I didn't think about the airflow in the in the reduction zone and where it get, can possibly get its uh, uh, air from, and that's the problem. And so anyway, this fits in here perfectly. I have a. You can see right down in here. There's a little lip inside the 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 unit that mates up with this hole here, and uh, the the bell diameter fits perfect here. But the the caveat being is it doesn't seal around here, nor does it seal down in here and also it doesn't seal with the uh, uh, wood hopper so therein lies a problem I'm wondering if I were able to seal this seal against the wood hopper if the cone wouldn't be uh, just something that's replaceable that was the thought is that if I had a problem with this bell assembly that that I would have the ability to change that out uh, in my inventive mind here I've you know come up with some uh, pretty good ideas but uh, I didn't think them through completely about how the gasifier works and uh, where it is a uh, process where uh, it is uh, a starved oxygen process. You don't want air to get into this process because it spoils it. What happens is, is if in that reduction zone if the uh, too much air gets in then it allows the uh, wood to completely burn to an ash and you get no biofuel, you get no